Yeah, I said firepower, but this isn't a blowtorch. It's just a lighter, and I don't think it's gonna get the job done of browning my steak. However, this kitchen blowtorch, I don't think it'll brown my steak very well either. It might brown the outside, but eh, it'll take a while. They cost about $25, and they can be found at any local gourmet food store or online at gourmet food catalogs. Now, sometimes this flame isn't quite big enough for things that I want to do in the kitchen. And that's when I turn to something else. The burns matic self-igniting propane blowtorch. Now, this is like a blowtorch that I'm used to. It's found at hardware stores rather than gourmet food shops, but that doesn't mean it can't be used in your kitchen. It runs on propane, which is a hydrocarbon just like butane. It has three carbon atoms, whereas butane has four. Both gases come from the processing of petroleum and natural gas products. It has a nice feature where you have a screw starter to get the gas going, and the igniter works nice and easy, and you get a big flame. You let the, let the igniter go, and you can change the flame, turn it down and even off by adjusting the amount of gas that comes out through this little thing on the back. The nozzle is great because it allows a much larger amount of gas to come through, opens up that flame so you get a really good big flame for your jobs in the kitchen. Now it's also really handy because it can be found at hardware stores. It's about $25, which is very similar to the price of the kitchen blowtorch that's found at the gourmet food shops, but because it's at hardware stores, it might make it a little bit easier to find. Now, what can we do with these blowtorches that we'll enjoy eating? I think creme brulee sounds kind of nice. Both of these can do a nice job of browning and hardening the sugar shell on the top of a creme brulee. You try the little propane blowtorch and you get a nice little flame as you can see, but there's a slow browning. It takes a much longer period of time to get that sugar where you want it. If I try my propane blowtorch, my big flame, I can turn it up nice and high. The sugar starts sizzling almost instantly. That's gonna be a quick brulee if I ever saw one. Other things we can do, we can brown the outsides, make some roasted red bell peppers. Roasted red bell peppers are really great in salsas. If you wanna make it yourself, this makes it very easy to do. You know, alternatively, you could go to a grocery store and just buy it, but this makes it a lot more fun. I mean, having flame in the kitchen is definitely something to look forward to. So you see here, I've got a nice blackened outside on this bell pepper. I can scrape it right off the bell pepper. Mmm, it's starting to release all those nice flavors. Other things that you can do, we can roast nuts. I've got some pine nuts here. You can roast them as opposed to either putting them in the oven to cook or even putting them in a pan to fry. You can take other things like a pineapple, for instance. Slice it up, add some brown sugar, and melt the brown sugar over it. It'll happen nice and quick. And what a way to bring dessert to the table with your propane blowtorch. And last but not least, in the middle of the summertime when corn is plentiful, I usually enjoy having a nice ear of corn that when I didn't have one of these in the kitchen, I used to have to cook it over my open flame of my gas stove, but now propane makes it easy. Roasted corn on the cob in my hand. It's not just food, it's science.